Like changing the oil in your car, descaling is the single most important thing you can do to keep your espresso and coffee equipment running properly. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from wholelottheylove.com. So I really harp on descaling, and when I do, I'll often get asked, do I really need to use a certain product to do it? Can't I just use vinegar? Well, today I'm going to put Grandma's vinegar to the test up against a commercial descaler, Ernex Descal. So I've got two Ranchilio Silvia boilers with similar amounts of scale. I'll use vinegar on one and Descal on the other and compare how they do. Before I start, let's talk about cost, as some suggest using vinegar to save some money. So I picked up a 32 ounce bottle of vinegar for $1.99. The packet of Descal makes 16 ounces of solution and is currently $1.10 at wholelottelove.com. So when you do the math, the Descal costs about 10 cents more. Now I guess if that vinegar works as well as the Descal, Grandma is going to be really proud of you for saving that dime, but we'll see. So here are two boilers from the popular Ranchilio Silvia espresso machines, each with similar amounts of scale. I'll put vinegar in one, Descal in the other, let them sit for 10 minutes and we'll take a look at how they perform. I'm using the powdered form of Descal, so I need to mix that with 16 ounces of water first. All right, I'm going to tilt them up and then fill each. While they're working for 10 minutes, I'll time lapse the video just a little bit, but keep the shot on screen so you can see them doing their thing. At the end, I'll pour out the descaler and we'll see how they did. In the meantime, let's take a look at another Sylvia boiler that's been neglected. Notice the scale has filled in the gaps between the coils of the heating elements. That will seriously affect heating and steaming performance. Now, if you let scale build up to this point, no matter what you use for descaling, it will be near impossible to remove. And those deposits are porous and act like a sponge. Put vinegar through a neglected boiler and the deposits will soak it up and take flavor. On the other hand, commercial descalers have no odor or flavor, so no chance of affecting flavor even in a neglected boiler. So the Sylvia boiler is rather large and forgiving of a little scale, but check out this thermal block boiler I've cut in half. These are found in lower cost semi-automatic machines and virtually every super automatic machine. The passages where water is heated are very narrow. Even minor scale deposits affect water heating and steaming performance. And ignoring descaling on this type of boiler, well, it can easily clog those passages over time, leading to failure of your machine. Something else to keep in mind with thermal block boilers. Many are made of aluminum and the acetic acid in vinegar and the citric acid in some descaling products do not play well with aluminum. For that reason, you should always stick with the manufacturer's recommended product for descaling machines with thermal block boilers. Okay, our 10 minutes is up. Let's see how the vinegar and Descal compare. As you can see, the Descal boiler looks a whole lot cleaner. I think it's pretty easy to say in this case that that extra dime spent on the Descal was definitely worth it. Add to that, there's no risk of tainting flavor should you have moderate scale deposits. Again, those can act as a sponge and absorb that vinegar flavor. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. I was using Descal, which is not appropriate to use with every type of machine. It's always best to use the descaler recommended by the manufacturer. They'll be compatible with the machine's boiler material and other components. Also, don't neglect the scaling. If you let it go too long, no matter what product you use, major deposits are near impossible to remove. I'm Mark from wholelottheylove.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on Everything Coffee brought to you by wholelottheylove.com. Oh.